that that's interesting because I worry. I see stuff not that's directly related to this per se, but I see that in the midst of some emergency services deaths, that there's a great outpouring, and you have all these strangers lined up by the streets and everything. And I always wonder after you've built the family up and everything, and then tomorrow they've got further to fall because mm-hmm. all those people it goes are away. Gone. It goes away. And I just think it's better to keep it realistic, you know, rather than that great buildup. And uh, I think sometimes it could be too much and push it over the top. Mm. Uh, but the where's your – you're in Penn State. You're giving a talk in the summer? Uh, Penn State Abington. And you do like four a year or something like that? Mm-hmm. Or? Yep, at least. So uh, the next one is June 6th from 5 to 7, and then there's another one from 7 to 9. And that's Penn State Abington Campus. And mm-hmm. if anybody needs information, we'll be happy to relay it to you, mm-hmm. specifics. And the cost to do that is? It's uh, $20. And did I see something that there's an online version of it? Uh, there is. That's not me. That's the uh, QPR Institute that does the licensing for the program that I do. But it wasn't there something that was, maybe I was reading something wrong. There was something that was like $20 or something that was online. Because as much Yeah, you can take this class online, but it's, I mean, it's not online with me, but right. there's an online, the Institute has an online version. Because I think some of these things, I think it's better to do everything in person, but I think some of these things that are unattractive social woes. I think there's some things that people need to hear via podcast. People need to be able to do in a privacy of their own home because there mm-hmm. may be some pride in going out and saying, you know, I don't want to, uh, you know, they, they would have these things up there and, uh, you know, uh, for emergency services workers who wonder why nobody would show. And it's just guys don't want to admit that there's a problem yeah. with anything, you yeah. know, and it's like pulling over for directions. We just don't want to <laughs> do it. And if you put out something and you and you announce there's a class that's going to focus on weakness or deficiency, you're not going to get a strong crowd there. You've got to say the word like you said so that it's out there and it's known mm-hmm. and it's 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 not a big deal. No, uh, and these are the uh, prevention classes that we do are practical methods, something that anybody and everybody can do. Hairdressers need this information information bartenders bartenders need this information you know uh, uh emergency service workers school teachers anybody you know pastors anybody who comes in contact with other people needs to hear this information and know how they can help well everybody's it's everybody's business yeah and and everybody's potentially on the front line of absolutely of saving someone. absolutely and and that's what i don't get you bus know. drivers absolutely yeah everybody yeah and and being able to identify it or at least Give somebody else a heads up, you mm-hmm. know, and have these numbers and this information so that you can tell somebody, give somebody a call. That's it. Um, well, I want to thank you for coming. Thank you for giving me the chance to talk about this. I really appreciate it. Sure. And uh, we'll talk more because I, I have some questions, uh, but I want to keep in touch. Great. Okay. Thanks. We're done. Hit the button, Russell.